Hello and welcome to it. Let's play me, Game of Six of Glory Hounds. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it free on itch.io. But if you want to support the people that make this game and or get the newest version of this and other games sooner, then you can go to Patreon. Three dollars a month, just three dollars a month. So on the last let's play the very grumpy insurance man uh was when those criminal insurance men trying to extort an old lady but we fought them valiantly valiantly with our trusted weapon a sauce of probably expired condiment something or other maybe it's that um rooster sauce who knows and we're about to get our um some brain surgery when the dawn hounds came in and saved us and yeah there might be a tracker on that guy because he's trying to find where the ishmael guy's base is i don't know but hey we might be able to give in our resume to become a sidekick but right now we're just coming home because you know when something like that happens you just want to come home and be like i am going to flap my gums like that maybe look at some here can I say that? Yeah, we're past the one minute mark. You set face. And begin. Jesus Christ. Turns out that when cops come to find you alone in a store that has busted windows and destroyed shelves, they might have questions for you. I mean, you could probably go say, hey, just, you know, ask the lady. I helped her, you know, not get extorted. Or even though everything was busted. It was damn, I was damn near about to get put in cuffs when Mr. Byrne showed up to explain what happened. She looked the most frazzled I've ever seen her. I was hoping to get some time to myself to decompress, but when I got home, it's almost 11. Stepping out into the living room feels like walking into an entirely new world after all that has happened. A less adventurous one, I can only hope. Seems like Max already went to bed. Is Max our cat friend or is that somebody else? That's one reason why I I really like Sileo. Cause I would be able to be like, who's Max? I don't know. He left the mail on the kitchen counter, along with some empty nectar bottles. I'll have to check that later. Nectar? Once my messenger's back. Once my mess ah, messenger's bag is on the table, I put my seriously flattened but still edible pastries in the fridge. Most of it is taken up by what looks like to be an enormous casserole? Lasagna? Abomination. Let's go with that. Huh. There's a sticky note attached. Save some for you, Max. Or Max. I touch it through the plastic foil and immediately regret what I have done. Hard as a brick, and slimy as all get out at the same time. How do you even manage that? Slimy as all get out, huh. It's like I'm poking brain matter. It smells even worse. God, gross. It collapses in on itself when I recheck my hand. Suddenly, I don't feel like dinner for the next five days. I try to ignore the abomination as best as I can and just go for a can of soda and a bowl of potato chips. The cornerstone of any nutritious diet. I mean, hey, potato chips are made out of potatoes, so you're eating vegetables. I shouldn't be having caffeine this late, but there's no one stopping me, is there? My usual spot on the couch with wait, my usual spot on the couch secured, I stuff a handful of potato chips in my mouth. TV turn on. The screen flashes to life, lighting up the room, and almost incinerating my retinas in the process. I mean I guess I could have a TV like that, but with what I'm doing right now it would be like there would be it would be looking up EF at any point, you know? Good evening, Alexa Rouge. The date is Friday. April 20, 20th, 2035, 
The time is 2256. Okay, that's a lot. Would you like to watch? What would you like to watch this evening? Fraser! I shrug. Surprise me. Analyzing current emotional state. Oh yeah, I guess this is like future stuff. High stress levels detected. No kidding. Analysis complete. Select programming will now commence. Enjoy your viewing experience. And remember, when you think of the future, think of Brevard. Yeah, yeah. If I got here every time I heard that, I'd be as rich as Brevard myself right now. So I'm wondering how, like, all-encompassing this thing is. Maybe not as bad as Komarevi, you know? You know, where it's like, it's an everyday's life thing. Good game. Voice acting helped me a lot. But God, like, I didn't think of it until a friend pointed out where it's like, yeah, it just seems like they had all this stuff and then they they drop a whole bunch of plot lines. And it's like, yeah, you're right. What happened to all these plot lines? And all these explanations. Also reset my face while that's transitioning. I should probably do that every time. Hmm, crime. So they have this logo. So is this guy the Brevard guy head or something? You really think he's the one? He faced an armed enemy, alone, without a moment's hesitation. I figured even you would be impressed. He caught a common robber unawares and lived to tell the tale. He was reckless, careless. Also, he's big. Never seen a crow that big. Lucky. Had it been real battlefield. Line up, sunshine. You're taking this even more seriously than I am. And you're not taking things seriously enough. One thing to play vigilante, but to place trust, life, in the hands of this, this untrained stranger who not be pr uh, who'd not be prudent, sir. Would not be prudent. You forget, my friend. The greatest men and women on the earth were untrained strangers once. As was I. As were you. All it takes to be a hero is a nose for triple and the balls to go look for it. At least no threats detected on the uh, screen there. Alright. Very well. We'll see if he has potential. Are we going to do a training montage? Knew you'd come around. I am not around. I'm not even in the vicinity. But I am intrigued, I suppose. No nos puden virginus legardo sebes que me caso la amancier. I'm not even sure what is um, this language. It, the romance language, but it doesn't seem like Spanish, though I am only kind of still new in the Spanish thing. The otter on the TV. Fonti. Mi rosa del destero. Mi negras. Am I able to say that? De, de mi deseos hablar. Al menos per, permitele, por favor, a mi corazón cantar. Okay, I guess it is Spanish. I'd have to actually look at that. My black... Rose... I don't know. Ple that is please, por favor. Yo, tía... Change channel. It's a music from Adastra. From the creators who brought the stars to the stage three times before comes another galaxy spanning adventure like no other. Adastra on ice. Relive the change channel. Uh, why? I wouldn't see Adastra on ice. Has this ever happened to you? 
I'd love to buy a car, but most models are so small. There's just no room for my neck. When I drive, my trunk gets tangled around the steering wheel. Oh, an elephant. I've had three accidents and counting. What do I do? Brevard brings a solution to your doorstep with this patented change channel, please. And now for the local news. And by the Chin Channel again, when Mr. Burns Storfoot appears on the screen. A robbery at the Sweetwater District tonight was narrowly thwarted by two unlikely heroes. I saw the potato chip I had been chewing on for a good while. I almost fall off the sofa when I lean forward. The situation seemed dire for the 63 year old store owner, M Maria de Bruyne. After a robber claiming to work for Saltwater Syndicate forced her against the counter, holding her at gunpoint. The latest string of recent robberies claimed by the Syndicate, police suspect. As it switches over to the security footage, my phone lights up like a beacon. Like, really? Who would be, um. Would somebody else watching the news? William's calling. Yeah? So, I'm watching the news. Can you believe they're rebooting a daster again? Don't you go change the subject on me. The bloke what spotted a robbery at the Mr. Burn place owes oh, the... Uh, rooster? That wouldn't happen to be you now, would it? I give the screen a glance. Sure enough, there I am, bottle in hand. At least, they took courtesy of blurring out my face. Not that it matters with all my spots. That could be anyone. You leave that lady alone right this instant. Or uh, my name isn't Alex. Anyone. I thought I told you to give me a ring if anything happened. Shit. Right. I was gonna text him when I got home. I'm sorry. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Just a few scrapes. I'm glad Mr. Byrne is okay. Can't say the same for a store, though. Who's the big lad? I look at the screen again, just as as Don Hound breaks through the window and strikes a pose. Oh, he just showed up. He called himself the Don Hound. Don Hound? I bowed down another potato chip. Rude. Yeah, he's a had a costume on and everything. Like the stranger. Or like the stinger? Who's the stinger? Except the stinger's outfit isn't quite as. uh. whatever that was. Frankly, I'm still processing it. Crazy. I thought it was a stripper or something. I wish. What? Uh, nothing. I hear him grind on his beak. Anyway, I would have died. If he hadn't been there. I'm glad you're still with us. You so no wait, you still have got a bar tab open. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. I appreciate it. You know Lou's gonna want to hear this too. I think Lou's the cat. <laughs> Knowing them, they probably already read about it on ten different news sites. They'll want to hear it from you personally. It's the Snyder marks I'm worried about. Well, that's what friends are for, aren't they? Fine. I'll let them know what happened at work tomorrow. Yada boy. Good night, Alex. See you at the hen? Hain? Good night, Willie. In other news, the spokesperson for Raoul Brevard, CEO of Brevard Enterprises, has announced plans for the company's expansion beyond. Bad VN borders. Change channel. I stretch and yawn. Shut up my eyes. What feels like a blink. But I can't get my eyelids open again. I know that feeling. Actually, I don't. This is weird. I wasn't sleepy at all two seconds ago. Crime? Or maybe he's just crashing. And next thing I know, I'm somewhere else entirely. It's so dark, I can't see my hands in front of my face. 
You can hear the sound of water dripping in the distance. The pattern is very regular. I prick my ears and hear another sound, more rhythmic pounding against the ceiling right above me. It's softer, more distant, and it moves back and forth like footsteps. I try walking, reaching out to see if I can maybe find a wall to follow, but all I find is more inky black void. Sniffing the air, I immediately retch. Smells like shit. No, worse. What is this place? Someone's basement? Someone's here at last, it seems. Who is that? Hard to talk while dry evening, heaving. It's good to see you. I've been waiting for you for quite some time. The voice is coming from all around me, like it's inside my head. What the fuck? I try pinching myself. This is no dream. What do you want? You. Get in line. You must understand. What an understatement. I don't understand anything. What are you? A ghost? Your behavior is unbecoming of you, Alex de Rouge. You're here because you felt lost, unappreciated, helpless. Oh, so when do I get to go to this horrible void area? I had a dream last night of being back at work. And it sucked because it was like... It was... And sorry for this tangent, it was like me going, Oh, they hired me back or hired me on his contract or something like that. And it's like, nope, when I woke up, still unemployed. A ghost with a major in psychology. Great. There are many like you. This city has lost hope. But it is not completely without. Ah, stop doing that. Stop talking through me. It needs someone to nurture it. Someone to protect it. It needs you. The voice rings in my ear after it finishes talking. You will come here again when the time is right. The irregular dripping grows louder, as do the footsteps, until it's a cacophony of indescribable noise. Shum something shakes me. I lurch forward out of the darkness so fast it leaves me reeling and gasping, falling over. Fell asleep on the couch? Buddy! Hey, buddy! Buddy! The ground underneath me is soft. Where was our time? Okay. It takes me the moment to, re moment to realize it's the carpet. My eyes snap open. I didn't even know they were closed. A blurry shape hangs over my head. I recognize those bright colors. Max? I sit up, bang my head against the coffee table, and knock at myself flat again. I almost got another concussion there. This is weird. Also, and not including the baby bitch shirt right there. The, let me just go through my list of like visual novels and stuff like that. Is this the first time we've seen a bug person? Glory hounds unveiling less shards. Be this might be a hot minute. Okay, there's bird person. I think there was fish people at one point. Room the flowers, malevolence. I mean, I guess that's robots. Mm. I'd have to really go through this entire list to find bug people. Because it's like mammals, then birds, then fish. I guess monsters could be somewhere in it. And then now bugs. Yeah, I can't think of any games that have bug people in it. How weird. Is this supposed to be in the, like, Adaster Echo universe? I haven't seen bugs. Shit, you're really out of it, dog dude. Hungover? Also, he has a very nice physique. I feel like I could work my way... Like, I have the muscle mass, but I feel like I need to work my way down here because, I don't know, I've been at my mom's for about a month. And, you know, I could always be slimmer. But when I'm in my workout stuff, I seem to look like this. Anyways, what happened? You tell me, man. I walked in on you, tossing and turning and moaning on the couch. 
then you just fell off. Fucking hilarious. I wish I recorded it. Hair in my eyes. My head hurts like hell. And I don't know whether to blame the coffee table or the nightmare. I didn't wake you up, did I? Dude, it's 10 in the morning. You're up before noon? I have to start making efforts if I want to get through this entire season of pretty bunny angel hearts a day. Entire season of pretty angel bunny heart a day, my guy. I have a lot to catch up on. I look at the crushed potato chips scattered all around me. Shit, what time did you say it was? 10? Oh no. Shit, 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 shit. I scramble to my feet, rushing to the bathroom. I don't look at my phone. I don't dare look at my phone. Brush my teeth, fix my fur. Uh, buddy? Can't talk, gotta head to work. I run and comb through my fur between my ears. Doesn't help. Save a spot for me on the couch. I might just lose my job today. Join the club. Do you need me to make dinner tonight? No, please no. I'll, uh, just get some takeout. Gotcha. When inside, I look and smell presentable, I rush to the door. Max, as we'd taken his usual spot on the couch, where he'll most likely stay until the sun goes down. Bye! See you later, Rumi. I'm having to assume that uh, the Dawn Hound's gonna be working at. Well, gonna be at work. Excuse me, passing through. Hey! Watch it. Sorry. Whoever said they hate Mondays is clearly never experienced a Saturday in Schippersburg. Weave your way through the never-ending crowd of tourists and dodge cyclists who never heard of traffic lights long heard of traffic lights long enough, and I'm sure everyone would agree. Not to mention the noise. I cut through the canals, but even those are so thick with people I can't see the bottom. Once I finally near the tram stop, I'm all but sprinting, barely looking where I'm going. It's a mistake I regret almost immediately. Ah! A whirlwind of papers scatters to the floor as I collide with a woman walking the other way. I land right on my tailbone, pain rippling through my body. The woman's still standing, with barely a scratch it seems. Hmm. Is she like Mrs. Uh, Cliff? She's staring right at me, but she doesn't look angry, at least. Hard to tell behind those glasses. Good heavens, are you quite alright, love? Her voice is soft, high-pitched, almost princess-like. Uh, sorry. I expect to be scolded, but all I hear is a soft giggle. No harm done. It seems we're both a little lost in thought, aren't we? She reaches out, helping get me back up. Her grip's pretty strong for such a small lady. I dust myself off, a scrape of paper that was sticking in my jeans, fluttering to the ground. I mention it just before it flies out of reach. It looks like some sketches of people. The paper's frayed, land yellowed, but it must it must be pretty old. Nice drawing. Oh, this isn't my work. I'm just bringing these over to the office. I hand it back to her and kneel down to the ground to help her gather the rest of the papers, which she organizes and stuffs neatly into a worn looking satchel. Some of these look like letters, others look like notes. Only some are written in Batvian. Not just any Batvian, either. Old Batvian. I guess she might be the artist person. The stuff's a hundred years old at least. Once the ladies gathered all of the papers, she closed her satchel and proceeds to beam at me. Thank you so much for your help, sir. Hey, it was my fault to begin with. What kind of job has you carried around stuff like that anyway? If it's not yours, I mean. Oh, nothing special really. I'm the curator of Opgridorti- I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this. The art gallery. Okay, let's try it. Op. Ged. Okit. Wow. I have an assortment of works from artists all over the world, 
past and present, famous and unknown. That thing special? Sounds like a cushy cushy gig to me. I've heard about it. With the expensive dress, right? The money talks the money talks gown? Yes. Another giggle. One of many fine pieces in our collection, as I'm sure you're aware. Really? I've never been. Really now? In that case, you should absolutely come sometime. We'd be more than happy to have you. No mission required. But I'm a stranger. Isn't that... Uh... Oh my gosh. Where are my manners? She grabs my hand immediately, and shaking it hard. I'm Fena. No last name. I'm Alex. Presto. We are no longer strangers. Delighted to meet you. You still seem a little strange to me. I hear a whir behind me and spy the tram arriving at the stop from the corner of my eye. Oh, there's my ride. I suppose I should be on my way as well. She lets go of my hand, and when I open it, sure enough, there's a ticket or for two to the art gallery. God. First the store robbery, then a weird dream. Now a gorilla marking trick. What's my life anymore? It was, uh, nice meeting you, Fena. Likewise, Mr. DeRouge. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is full of stuff. Sorry, still sick, so, you know. With the wave, she continues on. And it's only once I'm at the tram that I realize I never told her my last name. When the... Well, with us going past that 25... Eh. By the time I step off the tram and get to the office, I'm very tired, out of breath, and a little more icky. So just like any other workday, really. I still haven't checked my phone. If I'm going to be fired, I'm going to be fired in person. Yeah, kind of like how I was fired over the phone. Though granted, it would be kind of uh, not great if I was fired, well, brought to the office. Well, I guess I well, technically wasn't fired, I was laid off. But still. I so hope I don't get fired. Why didn't I just call him sick? It's flu season, right? Plenty of people get sick this time of year. I watch the automatic doors open like a prisoner watching guillotine blade being raised. <laughs> And with that, now we call it, because it's now another scene, and it's, what, there are two minutes left? Boy, this has a lot of save slots. It isn't 11, like, I've seen some of them, but still, it's like, there's a lot of these. You should it's, like, maybe this many? I don't know. Also, this music reminds me of, like, I don't know. Kind of like Sims game or something like that? Or maybe certain music from um fuck what was that one game cooks are delicious i love this type of music where it's just like jazz and shit anyways that's gonna be the end of this let's play so please comment because like i'm simply you like dislike tips because otherwise game will stop looking at nefaru focus um if you like my youtube and would like to see it grow then please like subscribe and check out the videos to help grow and please don't spay new your ammo to control the pit populations also it's kind of funny i closed my eyes but i could still see his outline there i wasn't staring that long just saying and if you want to play this game it's available free uh, did you? but if you want to get the most up-to-date version for this game and others or support the creators then you can go to patreon that being said as of right now you know there isn't a paid unpaid version uh, there isn't a Stop looking at Nef Nefru. Look at the uh, stuff. Um, the last update was... Yeah, it was made public January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So half a year ago. Yeah. It do be like that. So, you know, don't take everything you would. Anyways, until next time. I know the Let's Play. Me, Gamble6 of uh, Glory Hounds. I should really see how long all these games are just to be like, hey, what should I do first? Because if it's like, hey, this game is 10 hours long, it's only 20 episodes. Only. But, you know, for some of these things I've been doing 
Oh, videos for like... Where the fuck's my mouse? There it is. Let's see. Osileo's on episode uh, 93. Let's see, where, how far is Don Chorus? Okay, the, for the ones that are going to be posted this week, Don Chorus is 96, Sileo is 40, but you know. We have it, a year's worth of content for Sileo. The smoke room. I guess we'll look at that other thing. The smoke room. Uh, 61 episodes. Uh, Sugar Lane. Uh, oh yeah, we still have Sugar Lane there? Huh, 41. Less shards is 16. Granted, we had to stop that one part way through because Kim Galsian made more video uh, content. Um, yeah. Sugar Lane, The Smoke Room, Sileo, Don Chorus, Chemo Coliseum. How far is that? Have we post? Okay, we have posted or uploaded all of them. Echo? How about Echo? Echo, Echo. Uh, episode 66. Okay, so that's 64 episodes of Human Coliseum. So yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, anyways, until next time. No, let's wait. Me, yeah, well, six of Glory Hounds. I really need to remember to title these things so we don't leave and be like, uh, what did we do this episode? Yeah, thanks to you.